hey you guys welcome to my channel so today we are working with this unit from Asteria hair this is a five by five closure unit you guys I forgot how much I love doing closure wigs because they're so quick and easy this does have HD lace and it is 22 inches long so yeah let's just jump right on into this I'm just starting with a little bit of my um, edge control I'm using the lock-in gel um, I picked this up from Amazon I've been using it love it no white cap know anything love doing my braids with it as well you can do mini twists all that good stuff but today I'm just using it on my edges and then popping on my wig cap I did go ahead and bleach the knots on this unit and wash her detangle her all that good stuff to melt this lace you guys I'm just using my hard head hairspray that I've been using for like the past 10 15 million years I have not switched it up at all but this is my go-to um, it's so crazy the amount of people who um, still want to wear wigs like say you know they tell me oh I want to wear a wig I'm still so nervous about it I don't know what to do and I'm like come on this is like the easiest thing to do and I always tell them start with a closure unit five by five basically means you have five inches going horizontal and vertical so I slap this in the middle of my head and that's the thing with a closure unit as well you can kind of turn it to do a side part but I just keep mine right in the center for a middle part um, and then I'm going in right here with just optional and just taking out a little bit of the hair because it just needed a little bit more um, of a pre-plugged hairline for me. And whatever color was left on as far as foundation goes, the back of my brush, I just, you just saw me just put that right on the hairline to just make sure that lace blended well. But this is HD lace, you guys. I had no issues with it. Um, melting to my skin and blending with my skin very well next you guys this is always a struggle for me i'm a, i'm honest with you guys because you know we stay honest on my channel i always have such a hard time doing my little baby hairs whenever it comes to a closure unit because where i normally would lay them is a little bit further down. Whenever I do a closure unit, I have to kind of start my baby hairs closer to the top of my head, so closer to the part. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. So I always feel a little awkward, um, but you know, I be trying my best like always. Um, and then to lay them, y'all, I'm just using my Design Essentials foam wrap, um, keeping this very quick and easy. I really had to get going these this day, which is why this closure unit was perfect for me. I had like. 45 minutes to get dressed through my makeup um, and then pick Isaiah up from the bus stop and then do some errands so just tying that down you guys and then I'm just gonna blow dry per usual So next you guys I went on ahead and got my wax stick and popped that at the you know the roots and I went on ahead and paired it with my hot comb like I normally would but I'm not the biggest fan of pairing your like doing this process when it comes to curly hair because some yeah, I mean, I can tend to go overboard. I tend to go overboard um, sometimes like at this part right here with making that part section just look too flat. It almost just is like a dead, dead giveaway that it's a wig. So you wanna be careful at that, um, like closest to your part when applying heat. Whenever I add some mousse to the rest of this hair, I'll typically add a little bit still at the top just to kind of wave it back up the tiniest bit. Um, it's like just a fine line. It's a fine line, you guys. But I'm using the cream of nature, like honey curling mousse, something like that. I'll make sure I put it down below in the description box. So make sure you guys check the description box, all the info on this unit from Asteria Hair and all the products I'm using are down there. Um, but yeah, the hair was already detangled I made sure to dry it nice and detangled so I didn't want to go interrupt the curls I just wanted to go in and add some mousse to the rest of the hair to hold the curls basically that's what I'm doing here and then I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side
All right, you guys, so I had to judge this unit up a bit. I felt like it was just a little too heavy, like as far as like the thickness of it, which is not a bad thing because you definitely can always take hair out of a wig. You can't really put it back in, but I didn't have any thinning shears. Um, so I had to just take my scissors and just get to adding some layers around the face um, and just kind of, you know, just framing my face a little bit, not making the hair all one length. And that was basically it for this wig you guys I did take it up a notch as well right on the ends I took just a few inches off I was about to go in and like really cut this up but I said nope I gotta wait till I take it off because I have learned my lesson trying to cut curly hair on myself it needs to be on a mannequin head so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um let me know if you guys have any questions comments all that great stuff like I said don't forget to check the description box if I have any coupon codes all that good stuff will be down there thank you guys so so much for watching and i will talk to you guys in my next one bye